everybody, I've been trying to find some pretty stuff for my Kate Spade Spiral Planner and this is pretty much what I've accumulated the past few weeks. I store my planner stuff in the desk behind me in one drawer, so I was trying to see how I can keep it organized and found these cute boxes at the department store called Manor here in Geneva and they have various prints and various sizes and these, these are the kind of boxes that one would normally buy to gift wrap their presents in but I found them to be quite useful this way I'm, so I'm storing paper clips in this box and in this box I'm just storing my sticky notes and washi tapes I also got this heart shaped puncher and it's the first time that I own one of these fancy print punchers that's a bit more heavy duty than the smaller ones. I found these glitter sheets, they come in a wide range of colors and, and what I love about these sheets is that these are actually sticker sheets so it gets really easy to do stickers instead of having to use a machine to make it sticky. I also found this cute um, rubber set, it's a reindeer and a squirrel and I'm not really using them, they're just fancy decorations I guess to keep them pretty in my drawer. So I recently discovered a website um, that's scrapbook.com. I'm probably one of the last few people in the world to know about it but <laughs> they, sh they ship internationally and I was really pleased to find a lot of the brands that I'm really wanting to try. Um, so yes, I got these two Project Life sets. This one is the XOXO and this one is the Be Fearless. It was actually the first time that I've used Project Life cards. I was trying to hunt them down but most of the sites where I managed to find them had an exorbitant shipping rate so I always kept a bit back but each one of those packs had two different sizes for the cards. Um, my favorite out of the two would probably have to be the XOXO range. I really do like the quality of these cards and I have been using them to decorate my planner, them to decorate my travel memento scrapbook. I had been wanting to try stamping. Um, I know a lot of people prefer stickers for their planners, but in the long run, I think that purchasing stickers that are basic that I would have to use every week would be really cost effective. So I've been wanting to try out stamping and I got this Versa Magic Dew Drop set and I've used all of these colors and I love them. I really like that these are tinier than the ink pad ones so that you can use these the actual rubber stamp rather than the other way around if it makes sense. Also got an acrylic block and it's a bit dirty because I've just used it this morning and I got this also from the same site. I don't really remember what was the brand but there are quite a lot of brands that make this and what I love about this is that not only that it's acrylic so you can really see where you're placing the stamp but also that it has some grid lines so that way it allows for more precision when stamping I had no idea that the stamps would actually attach to this kind of automatically by suction. I, I thought that you would need one of these. It's the tech and piece, so I got it and apparently you don't need it. I discovered that <laughs> the first time I used it. You can pretty much attach anything on this um, sheet. Stamps that I was loving the most were actually by the brand called Lawn Fawn and I'm really liking that brand. The whole concept is really cute and the stamps are just the kind of stamp that I'm, I like. But I wanted something a bit more generic rather than just critters since I don't really own any other stamps. I got this stamp set by Bow Bunny. It has some cute quotes that I can use throughout the week. And I also picked out this one, it's brand DIY, Simple Stories, I think. And it's also similar to the, to the other one. These were kind of a pain to detach from the sheet. Um,
Also noticed that the scrapbook.com have a lot of stickers that run for around two or three dollars a sheet, which is quite a steal because here in Geneva small sticker sheets are quite expensive. So I grabbed this one, it's a birthday themed one. And there are quite a few that are a bit generic, and thing is that these are so pretty that I kind of don't even want to use them. I also got these other two and this one is Easter themed and this one is spring themed both of these are covered in glitter and the first time that I opened them I made quite a mess but I do love how they came packaged from the website this is the exact package that they came in I've also been loving cute paper clips and I grabbed this one, it's by the brand Pebbles and it's just normal sized paper clips but these have a fabric bow tie at the top and these are really cute, one of them is missing because I'm using it in my planner right now. I also got some washi tapes, so I got this cupcake one and this Swiss polka dot one. And I've been really loving these two. And I also got this washi set. We are brand. And I've only used them just yesterday. And I got them because I love the color. I didn't really know that the pattern was going to show up so well as it did. This is how it looks on a white background. And I've been loving this one with the gold with the gold washi. So that was my order of scrapbook.com. I've been loving these cute die cut paper clips they are from it the angel shoppy she has an instagram and an etsy shop and i will link them down below i got six of these so far and i've been really loving them and she's got so much to choose from and apart from the regular ones you can you can also request custom made ones And I had been trying to hunt down some cute stationery here in Geneva and I've only managed to find a few things so far. Um, I got these paper clips, brand is book binders, these are wolf shaped um, paper clips and the bunny shaped paper clips. Also managed to find these wooden rubber stamp, this one is a hippo and this one is a dalmatian and a puppy. And these were actually on clearance for quite cheap. And for the past while I've been trying to hunt down the Kate Spade Bow paper clips everywhere that I managed to find them. They catered for the US that or either the shipping price was double or even triple in some cases to the actual products. Kate Spade Planner Facebook group and Elle Fowler mentioned that they stocking them on Glipsy Glam so I got them off there and it comes with another three more but I'm using them in my planner and I've been really loving these so I was going to forget to forget this I managed to found this washi tape here in Geneva and it's really cute it says it's a black spotted dog running around for toys I really like this one then a while ago I got some new sticky notes I've showed these on my Instagram but I never really showed these on YouTube um, I really love stick notes especially the cute ones that are animal themed and I managed to score these off one particular seller I will link it down below I think it's ginger juju smile or something like that um, shipping is free and the stick notes are quite cheap I mostly tend to buy puppy related stuff these are probably one of my favorites I also got bigger to-do list ones I got this Rilakkuma notepad I also found this box um, stick note set here in Geneva, again at the manor stationery section. Lastly, I got some new stickers when we were in France. I got these hard ones, these animal ones, dog ones, critters, candy ones, and kitten ones. Pretty much it. I've ordered some stuff of Essie and eBay and places and I can't wait for it to arrive. 
so that I can play with my planner a bit more. If you have any requests for videos that I should do, please leave them down below. I will go through them as always. Thank you very much for watching. Bye guys.